I was walking down the street on my way to work one day, and I came upon a beggar man, and this is what he had to say. Hey, buddy, can you spare a dime? And I said for a joke, what do you need money for? You look real fine. He said, I need something to eat. I need a shower and a shave. And I need a job before I wind up in the grave. So I gave him a penny and a prayer. And he put it in his cup. And he said, a penny sure gonna buy me a lot of stuff. There were others walking by that saw it as a joke. And they put pennies in his cup just to get him choked. At the end of the week, when he counted them all up, he had a thousand dollars from the pennies in his cup. He got a job and got a wife, and now he's married and has two kids. And he's still surprised today at what a penny did. I went to the hospital to visit someone I hadn't seen for quite some time, when I saw a little girl sitting on a chair and crying. I asked her if I could help her, and she said, I need an operation before my eyes can see. So I gave her a penny and a prayer and said, this should start you on your way. She held it close to her face so that she could make it out, and this is what I heard her say. It's only just a penny. It won't go very far. Won't even buy a cookie at the lunch bar. What am I going to do with a penny in this predicament I'm in? But she put it in her pocket and grinned. A reporter saw how little I gave and wrote about in the news. She scorned and ridiculed me for giving a penny to a little girl who couldn't see. Well, those that read the story sent her money to help her in her need. And in a few months, her eyes were fixed and she could see. And then she said, you know, that penny's been pretty good to me. I went to the lodge to visit someone I hadn't seen for a while when a sick lady came in and staggered down the aisle. She fell down in a chair right next to me and I could see in her face her agony. Then I said with a smile, looks like you haven't been well for a while. She laughed and said, sometimes sickness has to run its course. So I gave her a penny and a prayer and said, let this remind you that sometimes it helps to pray. The next morning she called a cousin that had been longing to find her. He'd just won a lottery, but had lost all track of her. And he said, with all this money that I've got, I want to spend some of it on you to make you well again. Now she sings when she walks, and she keeps a penny on the shelf beside her clock. And she tells her friends, the clock tells me the time of day. And the penny tells me, it's time to pray. I went to visit a buddy of mine who's a country singer, and he said to me, sure wish I had a guitar to help my career to be more musical and attractive for people to hear. So I gave him a penny and a prayer and said, this should get you in gear. He laughed and said, it's only just a penny. It won't go very far. And he flipped it in his hand as he walked down the street, but then he dropped it. And when he went to pick it up, beside it was a pay stub for a pawn shop. So he went there to see what it was for and walked out with a guitar that he'd been wishing for. Now he's a country star and when he's driving in his car to the next concert he has to give, he still shakes his head and marvels at what a penny did. I was sitting in church one day when the collection plate came by, and I put in a penny in a prayer, and the little boy next to me gave out a sigh. And he said in words just under his breath, it's only just a penny, it won't go very far. And I said, it's only just a penny, it won't go very far. It took a beggar off the street. It helped a blind girl see, it made a sick lady well, and it made a country singer a star. And then I smiled and said, it's only just a penny, but without faith, son, it won't go very far. <laughs>